So today we are starting the search for a bus and I have a few of them that I'm looking at today so I'm kind of hoping that we do end up going home with one. Um, two of them look very promising and three of them look like they probably aren't going to work but uh, we're still going to go look at them just because who knows maybe they are a good deal maybe just the pictures aren't very good so I'm excited. The search for a bus is finally starting. So this is our current contender. Um, I pulled up and saw a whole bunch of rust, which is obviously a little bit concerning. But when I look underneath, it honestly doesn't seem that bad on the screen. If I get under here, you can kind of see there's some spots where it's starting to get a little dicey, but uh, for the most part, it's pretty straight. It's not worse than the motorhome, at least, um, but definitely going to dock a few points for that. It's also got a couple spots where it's in clearly been smacked by something. Unfortunately, when I was checking the oil, she uh, literally just this morning got an oil change. So that's not at all helpful and kind of a slightly bad sign. But when she gets here, we'll see, I guess, what's all going on. And um, hopefully it drives okay. Yeah, as you can see, the front is definitely seen better days. I mean, there's impact marks all over this thing. It's been hit quite a few times, it looks like. Like here, here, here. And then there was the damage on this side that we saw. And the damage on this side. I mean, that's pretty obvious that some kind of vehicle hit that. Um, but the damage actually doesn't look like it would be seriously altering to the performance. So that is the oil pan. And I would say that it is a really good sign that it is dirty and there is no oil. Although, it looks like maybe power steering or something might be leaking. Actually, I haven't seen the back of it, so let's see if we can record back here. Uh, looks like a little, little leakage around the drain plug. That's kind of to be expected though, especially if you just changed the oil this morning. Overall, underside actually looks kind of half decent. Just sort of rusted. <clears throat> Thankfully, most of the rusted parts are replaceable. These tires have definitely seen better days. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I mean, overall, it seems like in generally pretty good shape as far as the drivetrain goes. In here, it's definitely a little worse for the wear. So, uh, mainly all these seats have tears and there's cigarette butts on the ground. And um, there are some concerning things, like, uh, where did I see it? Oh, like this. That is not very good. That would indicate to me that there is probably water damage back here. But, I mean, I'm gonna strip all this out anyway and I'll have to seal up the roof. So I think for, well, she's asking for five but it's been listed for so long that I think she would probably go for something cheaper. But to be honest, I would probably buy this for like two or three grand. So it is day one of the Schooly conversion. I am actually not feeling very good today. I think all the excitement has been catching up to me, but I have a bus. It definitely has some rough spots around it. Like the paint it definitely needs some help. So I'm gonna repaint this whole thing. There are a couple spots where there is some rust, but it looks like it's mostly just trim pieces. So I should just be able to take those off and sand them down and repaint them. I think honestly, I'm just gonna repaint the whole thing. On all the important bits, there's a little bit of rust, but in my opinion, it's not anything to be too concerned about. It looks mostly just like surface rust. 
The interior definitely needs some help. Um, as you can see, I already took one panel off just to see what's back there. So I'm probably, what I'm probably gonna do first is take the floor part and then take this set of seats out. I'm probably actually gonna take the other seats out as well just so I can get the floor up. Um, I'm actually kind of thinking that I might reuse these two and make this my bed so that I can just fold it up or down. I think I'm gonna 86 these ones and then does this one fold up? I think this one folds up too. It does. Okay, actually, we might make the bed here then. Yeah, actually, I like that idea the best. I think we're gonna put the bed here and I'll put like the kitchen and then maybe the bathroom in the middle here, of course, with a barrier. Or maybe I could even do like putting the bathroom here. So have the bathroom from here to here and it comes out to about Oh, I don't know, actually. Yeah, this is definitely going to be an interesting one to plan. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and get started with the floor. And we'll get everything torn up, take all the seats that I'm not going to use out, and probably have to take these ones out too. But um, I like the idea of using at least a set of these for the bed so I can fold it up and down. Okay, so I just wanted to do a before video so that we can see what the bus looks like before I convert it. It's actually in pretty good shape. Um, in terms of the drivetrain, I didn't see a single leak under there. Drives real smooth, but obviously the body has definitely seen better days. So that's what she looks like. Uh, the plans to uh, repaint this whole thing, probably redo the roof too. Actually, the roof doesn't look that bad. I can't quite see the roof. Uh, roof is to be determined, I guess. Uh, but I didn't see any water leaks inside or any signs of water leaks inside. So obviously we're gonna have to remove the bumper and sand it down. I'm not sure we might have to get a new bumper because some of this looks like it might be. I don't know, it's actually pretty firm still. So yeah, I guess we'll just hammer it straight and uh, repaint it or something. Same thing with the trim on the handicap door here. I'm going to turn this into like a porch door or a back door or something. I think it'd be cool to have a little platform that's outside and I can just open it up and come sit outside and look at the mountains. But yeah, we're going to take all the trim off and repaint that for sure. I don't know what color I want to paint it yet. Um, I was thinking like blue. I don't know how to describe it, but there's a specific kind of blue that's like a gray blue. And uh, I've seen a lot of buses painted that color, and I think it looks cool. Uh, interaction resources, I'm not sure what that is, but evidently that's who this bus belonged to originally. Not like it really matters, I guess, <laughs> but I'm not sure what they do. This door is broken, but we're going to replace it with a regular, regular door, most likely. Uh, the frame itself is in decent shape. The door is kind of busted, though, as you can see. Here is the interior, which is definitely in really bad shape. But um, we're gonna be building a house out of this anyway, so it's not like it matters. So originally I was gonna take down the walls and on the first day that I got it, I was just super antsy and curious to see what's behind the walls. And uh, I found out that it's a solid piece of fiberglass that goes from the wall to the exterior wall. There are some spots, like I noticed in the back here, there's just nothing. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna do anything with these empty cavities. There's a few of them. There's these two, and then up in those corners too. This is going away. That is also going away. And I was thinking about storing the mini split, uh, the external unit down here, but I was looking at the one that I have installed on my motorhome. You can't quite see it, I guess, but I just have a hard time imagining that it's gonna fit down there. So in the very likely event that it does not fit down there, I think I'm just gonna take one of these windows out and uh, just mount it up in there, or maybe two of the windows out so that one can be an intake. And then I don't know what I'm going to do with that down there. Maybe turn it into a battery bank or something. 
Um, I really don't know. Or actually, maybe I could put a propane tank down there. That might be a more practical use. Anywho, I got this bad boy for $2,500. She was asking $5,000, and I talked her down to $25. So I'd say we got a really good deal. Um, just to recap, we have a nearly perfect drivetrain. There are a couple things I need to look at, like the brakes are a little more squishy than I would expect them to be. So probably need to go through and change out some pads, maybe flush the fluid. We'll see if that fixes it, and then uh, go from there if that does not fix it. But really it's a perfect drivetrain with a not so perfect body on it so i'll take it i was planning to redo everything that's not looking too good anyway so it's not like we're taking a big loss here 